hey welcome back to my channel in this tutorial i will show you how to create videos for your facebook advertisement with canva just like this one i will use a smartwatch as a case study i will create this same video from scratch the sweetest path is it is very easy to create you don't need any sophisticated software to get it done if you are ready let's jump into canva welcome back kindly like this video so that youtube can show it to more people that will need it and please if this is your first time of visiting my channel kindly hit the subscribe button below and also turn on the bell notification because I publish new and valuable content every Thursday and we discuss topics related to WordPress, Facebook advertisement, Canva, whiteboard animation and the likes. We discuss topics that will help you save time, save energy and also save money and not just that, also make you more money. Okay, enough. Let's get started with today's training okay so the very first you want to do is log into your canva dashboard then search for the facebook ad template because that's the um, dimension that i'll be using search for the template though you can search for video like video template directly but don't let us do that and there is a reason for that so i can start yours from scratch do you get it now so let's select this blank facebook ad so this is what we'll actually be using now i like to say this there are some footages images that i'll be using that you might not have access to and it's because i'm using the pro account so you can decide to also get the pro account it is kind of easy to get just sign up for the free 30 days trial just swipe in your credit card which you can always remove later on so get if you want the pro account you should get it's not hard it's not difficult to get they get it now and secondly even though the case study will be using in this video is a smartwatch you can as well create a video for anything you are promoting your any type of offer physical uh, physical product digital product services so this video will only show you how to get a video how to create a video in canva so it is more of more more of you understanding the concept behind everything so you can use in any project you want to do now the very first thing you want to do is search for the keyword related to what you are creating to the project you are creating now let me preview what i did here so this is a video that i created so let me let me just preview it so you can as well see okay so let me just click this awesome so everything here was created using canva everything so let me show you how to get this done so since we are working on a smartwatch right what do you do come to this video tab on your left panel come to video tab then you search search for smartwatch search for anything for a keyword related to what you want to work on can you see smartwatch let me search for something else okay pizza can you see so just search for anything you want to work on let me search for something else french fries those are the things i can remember at the moment can you see let me search for coffee as well can you see so just search for what 
search for a keyword related to what you are working on they get it now so uh, canva will show you footages that you can use these are already available that you can use so these are what you will use in your video do you get it now so let's go back to the smartwatch example that we are working on can you see so these are what we'll be using so here is the thing you might not have the perfect footage that you want to use do you get it now so what do you do you need to check out series of footages available so as to pick that okay this is the best um, footage for this particular scene they get it now and another thing you want to do is this in case what you are promoting or what you are selling is kind of different they get it now you can also upload your own video can you see come to this upload then you click on videos can you see you can click on this upload media then upload the media file from your computer or wherever you are uploading from do you get it now so you can as well when you finish uploading come to this upload tab then click on video this video tab you see all of your videos there so in case you do not have a video to use in canva library or even if you have probably just want to use something else like your own unique video or footages you can as well upload it they get it now so let's go back to video tab now the first thing you want to do is so let me let me select this was the first thing right so you need to have planned everything now you notice something here you notice the footage does not fill up the whole space right what do you do come to um, element go to element then you select this grid so as to fill up the whole area then you click on the footage again and move it can you see so it is filling up the whole area so guys uh don't forget we are trying to recreate re recreate this so that's the best way we can um, learn this. I might not create everything from scratch because of our limited time, but I'll show you what you can do. Do you understand? I'll use all of this as examples so that you can understand what we are doing. Now, here is the thing. There are different ways you can do this. Okay, before that, let me explain what we have on our screen. Now, look at this. You can see on this screen here you are saying animate right this is to animate both text and object elements on your canvas and this is the title of your video so let me let me put this as let me write a smartwatch demo demo ad so let's just use that now this duration this time here is telling you the overall time for all of the pages now listen this is just a one page for now you can have multiple pages which i will explain very soon so this is telling you okay this is the overall time for the whole stuff for the whole video do you get it now so here is the thing you can actually have multiple images sorry multiple pages so these multiple pages is what is referred to as clips when you are using um, a standard what's it called a standard video editor sort of they get it now so you can have multiple clips you can have multiple pages but because you are using canva we'll use the word pages they get it now but it's the same thing as multiple clips so what i want to explain here is this you can decide to have just one page just one clip and have all of your designs there it depends on the project you are working on i wish i could work um do series of projects here but time is not on our side so what i'm trying to say is this you might it depends on the project you are working on just could be just one page then you design it with some text um images but because you are trying to recreate this i would have 
series of pages so what you want to do you might want to just uh, duplicate this page and delete this footage do you get it now so now one more thing is this when you are using canva have it at the back of your mind that everything the arrangement goes from the top to the bottom which means this will appear first before this you need to understand the arrangement so this will appear first before what before this okay so let me look at the second image that i have on my on my screen here so uh what's the second image don't worry i'll see put this text let's just get our footage is right you know i've done this before but before doing this i've taken my time to look for the best footage to use do you get it now so what i'm trying to do here if you could remember in one of my videos that i did I think two two weeks ago i shared with you series of video ad creative ideas that you can create for your facebook ad campaign and i discussed about uh, one of the ideas i gave there was using a slideshow video so this is more or less like a video slideshow do you get it now or a dynamic slideshow the one i discussed about was just kind of a static slideshow sli static image slideshow but here you have moving parts do you get it now so you see almost the same thing so why the concept behind this video is this since it's a smartwatch okay let me introduce the smartwatch and have the functions these are the functions can you see each page is after this each page is is actually describing the function of the smartwatch itself so that's the idea behind so you should you should there are different there might be different ideas that you want to um actually work on so just know what you are working on know why you are doing what you are doing do you get it now so um let's just uh, continue with what we are doing so the next one we want to search for is okay let me look for this on the videos tab so you need to have taken your time to get all of this done so let's get our footage right then we can do all of the editing later on okay i think i found it can you see this is a pro footage so you can that's why i said from the beginning did i get your own pro account or you just use what is available or upload your own unique video clip so those are the options available all right so let me uh pick one more and that'll be how let me pick one more so i'll use this one as example so let me duplicate the page again delete this so uh let me pick let me pick one more and we are good to go so once i pick this last footage i will use everything as explanation so i think okay yeah here is it okay guys so let me just use this theory because of our time you don't have much time instead of um, doing all of this so now the first thing you see here is the smartwatch itself right but because i want to add a text beside it you know this is this is a um, white background right this is not an image that you can just remove the background so what do you do i can actually move it and give this background white don't forget this is just a tutorial for you to understand how to get yours done not a must you do exactly the same but you can recreate this video just to learn you create this video this same video and um once you are familiar with your concept you can now create yours do you get it now so let me show you how to insert in uh, text which you already know about so you can press the t on your keyboard instead of going to the whole um text tab so let me insert, insert dsp elegant wearable uh, smartwatch wearable multifunctional smartwatch
Okay, so let me make this appear on because you are recreating this, right? All right, awesome. So here is the thing. You can decide to use effects on your text. So let me let me select the font to use here. Um, below. Below condensed. So this is the font I'll be using, and you can make it bold. Don't forget we are creating the other video. So you can decide to add effect to your text element. But before then, but before then, um, let me re-explain everything we have on our timeline. Now look at this. Don't forget, I said this this time here is telling you the overall. Can you see we have before it was 20 seconds, right? Now that we have added more images. Now that we have that now that we have added more images to um to our canvas, can you see now that it has changed from 20 seconds to 39 seconds? Do you get it now? So this is the overall time. But when you click on a footage or a clip that you are using, when you click on it, you also see the total time for that clip. For this particular one, it is all 20 seconds. So you can trim, you can crop and flip. So let me show you what that means. When you click on this video, this clip here, you might not need everything. Okay, let me play it again so you see what I'm saying. You might not really need everything in that clip in that footage what do you do you can trim it which i'll show you how to do so i don't need this black part what do i do you click on you first thing you want to do is select the footage or the clip the video clip itself select it then you go to your top left corner and click on this scissors like icon so which is which means trim so click on it so you can adjust where you want the video to start showing from the beginning you can adjust and at the end too you can adjust though i have no problem with uh the beginning here so what do you do i go to the um, end part and you want move it can you see move it to the part of where you want to stop the video from showing can you see so so i think this is uh, awesome can you see? So let's replay it. You see what I'm saying now. So you see that it's not show. Can you see? It is not showing that dark part again. So what I did there was to trim that part off. Do you get it now? So let me just reduce the whole thing because of our time. So one more thing you want to take into consideration is you don't want to waste so much time on one scene on one um clip do you get it now don't elongate the time unless it is needed so you don't bore your viewers i'm just giving you some tips now so you don't bore your viewers with uh, a particular scene do you get it now so i was um, explaining something here can you see it has reduced to 24 so this is the total time for the video you are creating yeah i i made sure i did not uh pass 20 seconds because i'm creating a video ad right for my facebook ad campaign this is just an example though so uh one more thing i'll talk about is this you can decide to add effects to your video so let me add this effect i think i use shadow can you see i've added the effect so you can decide to change the color of the effect you can decide to change the color you can use black use any color so i'll just stick uh, with black here so we have recreated this right okay so now that i have recreated the first scene so let's move to the next one so you guys should just follow you can see the way i'm doing my right so um 
let me just copy this and paste here so uh, this is fitness tracker fitness tracker right now uh, we can change the color as well don't waste our time guys change the color to this and um, the effect i'll change this to this color or this or use white i think i prefer this so let's preview this uh video this clip as well so you can see the total time for this clip is also 10 point three seconds which is too long so what do you do click on this stream to uh, reduce the time we don't we don't want to waste time so take your time to watch the clip so as not to um cut out what is very important so i don't need this I think um two two seconds is okay or 2.3 is okay so we can move to the next one immediately without wasting time okay so one more thing is uh let's let's look at this last one here okay so here you can see we have series of stuff here right but on this particular video i just want it for uh this images section i'm uh, sorry this yeah this messages section so what do you do click on the video on the clip itself and you carefully trim so let me trim can you see let me trim all of these parts i want to where it is only showing that messages can you see so let me trim it here let me trim this down too so okay let me replay okay it's still showing this okay i still need to trim a little okay i think perfect now awesome awesome okay let me reduce this can you see so that's how it's just like you working with a video editor sort of good so can you see how i got so, um, all of these clips then i uh, was the message notifier right so let me just copy this copy this and paste now one more thing i want to say here is can you see i think the spacing between um each text is too much so just come to this spacing tab and you can reduce the line height can you see so it's kind of too much so i've reduced it so let me copy this again so let me copy this and paste so select select the, the color red and the effect you can decide to change uh, the color of the effect so i can use um black or white so let me just stick with black yeah you get it now so i've actually showed you how to insert text how to add effects to your text now one more thing you want to do okay let's let's just preview this uh, before we continue can you see so this is what we have been creating okay so guys you notice there is no animation added to the text right so you might decide to animate the text now if you want to add animation to your video now listen make sure you are not selecting anything like you can just click outside the whole canvas just click somewhere you get it now you see this animate option or menu at your uh, top left corner of your screen you get it now so here is the thing if you click on this animate you see different animations page animations now here is the thing you can add an animation per page you get it now per page so here is the thing if you select any other animation aside this block aside this block animation 
it will affect the whole object on that page so when i say object i'm trying to images text video clip everything it will affect everything if you select okay let me show you if you select fade now it will affect not just uh, the text it will affect the what's it called the video object as well if you select this pan as well it will af you see that it will affect everything can you see but the only animation that affects just the text only the text on your page only the only animation that does that is this block so your video um footage still remains intact you get it now it still remains what intact but what your only uh, the, the only thing that will be affected or the only object that the animation will be added to is your text object or your text element so let's try let's check it out can you see so this will affect just your text element that was what i used here you get it now so it all depends on what you are doing so guys let's preview this video again The reason why you have seen those animations was because we added it. Did you get it now? We added them. Um, can you see? This is fade for this particular page. Let me move to the next page. This is pan for this particular page. So you can have uh, animation for different for different pages. Did you get it now? So guys, instead of uh, wasting our time creating everything, it's just almost same thing. Just search locate um a video footage or upload yours as i've said and uh, put your text so i don't want to waste our time with all of this so um don't forget for your video you should always have a call to action so you want to tell them what you want to tell your viewers what they should do after watching the whole video so that's why we have um just to be called now i think i have a video that teaches you how to create a whiteboard animation now that video tutorial encompasses a lot of stuff aside how to create a whiteboard animation video you should check it out i showed you how you can plan your video and how you can write your video script Do you get it now so in case you are new to this just go watch that video if you are new to creating videos or video ads go watch that video it will show you how to plan your video the steps you need to take how to write the script for your video you get it now i showed everything there so you should check it out um so guys uh, we are almost done so you can just recreate this as well this is just an arrow so you can come to elements so you can add images you can add animation or animated images as well so just search for arrow or search for anything you're looking for so uh let me show you how i got the animated arrow so click on this filter to filter out what you are looking for so i will select this animated so it will show just animated images or animated elements rather so i think this was the one i used can you see so you can select this uh reduce the size and have it there so it's still almost the same thing so just get it done so guys um the last thing i would like to show you is how to add music how to add background music to your project so guys if you like this video or if you are enjoying this video if you are getting value from this video kindly like this video so that youtube can show it to more people please all right so once you are done with all of this you might want to add the background music so what do you do come to this audio tab audio come to audio then um use series of audio that are available and see if it is fit for the project you are working on they get it now so you might want to check series of videos to see the one that will work best for your project but for this one i use what garage sale so let me search for it garage sale 
so i've actually said already then you click on it it should be added automatically now look at this it will create it will create um something here at the top so you can decide to um change the volume here can you see let's let me adjust the volume can you see so you can decide to uh, reduce the volume and uh, let me click on it again you can decide to also uh state where you want to start the whole stuff from do you get it now so these are the things you can do this is the overall time can you see this is your overall time two minutes 90 seconds so you can decide where you want to start the video to start playing from do you get it now so let's let's just preview this let's now let's review everything together oh sorry let me remove let me remove um, the animation that we have here let me use just block and this block as well so i think we are good to go so let me pre preview Okay guys so um that is it as i've said i don't want to recreate everything but you can see you can do the same you can do it it's kind of uh, very very easy to do so that's it so when you are done okay now let me show you how to export your video so when you are done click on this um download button so make sure it is mp4 that is selected here and you want to download for all of the pages not just one so like it can collect everything so click on this download so let it uh, process the video then we can download it and preview the video okay so um all right awesome so let's just download the whole video okay so let me download this here can you see so i've downloaded so let's preview the whole thing we have been doing since morning don't forget this is just a shorter version showing you how i created it so let's preview So guys, is this not awesome? Nobody we know you use Canva to get this done. Nobody we know unless uh, you, you tell the person. So what I'm trying to tell you here is you can use Canva not just for graphics or images. You can use Canva to also create videos, any type of video that you want. So guys, um, I'm very sure you have gotten value please if you do kindly like comment share this video and also subscribe to the video and um, to my channel rather if you are yet to subscribe to my channel kindly hit the subscribe button below and also turn on the bell notification and i will see you in my next video bye for now